my god, can you believe how amazing Seattle is? I mean, can you possibly believe how insane it is to be here Garbage can. right now in this very moment? I know, I just almost ran into myself. Isn't that funny? That's hilarious. Anyway, welcome to my city. Welcome to my crib. This is where I live. This is my paradise. Sometimes. Not all the time, but depends on the day. Although, I must say, the weather today is better than usual. It's always raining here anyway, so it's like this constant, you know, overcast of like gray and rain and then there's these fucking cars everywhere and I have to deal with all the bullshit of fucking Comic Con, like are you kidding me? And then there's this just obscene amount of people here. I mean, come on, we already have like enough people here. There's like fucking like what, like 10,000 people in the city and then we already have fucking Comic Con? There's 600,000. Like, whatever, <laughs> it's the same thing to me. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's go. <laughs> Did you see them? Tell me a secret. This all just looks like basically kind of like a combination between Pride and Disneyland. <laughs> Disneyland? Key. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty oh much God. the best way to put it, I think. I mean, have you seen some of the people here? I mean, come on, bitch. <laughs> this is my favorite part of the city. Because it is like the center and like the downtown part of Seattle, you know? got the vibe and then there's like Nordstrom over there that's like in my perspective like the center of Seattle because that's where like you do all the shopping and it's fucking awesome you uh -huh. know you gotta get your basic bitch shoes and your fucking jacket from like Burberry and then you gotta get your fucking like Chanel bag and then you gotta get you know your fucking like Louis Vuitton shoes or whatever you know who cares basically that's exactly what it's about we're heading towards place and try not to run into people this here. This is like an MTV episode. I know. This is like, welcome to my crib. Oh my god, I'm Jesus. Walking. I'm walking. <laughs> we're making our way towards Tiffany's, you know, like more like breakfast at Tiffany's. Actually, fun fact, one time when I was younger, I was so obsessed with that move. And I, this was like during winter, and like we were doing Santa pictures at Nordstrom because that's what we always do every single year because we're like that. And I got like coffee and like I was dressed up kind of like Audrey Hepburn and it was really cool. And I just like felt like super special. And I know that's like, but like, it was baller. All right, let's meet up boy. In character. I am in character. Stop, I'm always in character. I know, Georgie. So, all right, friends, folks, you know, <laughs> we're on a mission. We're gonna go to Pike Place. We gotta get past these people first. I don't know how to do that without absolutely just yeeting across the street constantly, 24 seven. I don't know where that thought was going. You know what? Let's see what happens. Okay, so guys, I'm starting up a new tech company, and it's called, it's called B-I-T-C-H. Bitches in the cunty tech house. That's what it was. Feminism. <laughs> but like, you know what? That's all what it's gonna be really about. It's like feminism and like coming together. You know what feminism is? Mm. Is that it's the idea that women are just like, you know what, better than men. <laughs> they can't, you know, they just don't understand and they don't deserve the same equality or the rights or like, you know, any of that bullshit. Okay. So you know how our coffee's like the greatest thing ever? That right there, not that great. Kinda shitty actually. Hmm. Interesting. Wow. <laughs> Too many people. Oh my god. <laughs> Can you believe the view? It's stunning. God, it's just like so beautiful here. I could not possibly imagine living anywhere else, but like honestly, I also kinda hate it here, so. I love the viaduct and I think it's such an iconic piece of Seattle and like I think it's kind of sad that it's going away because like I don't care if people die I think it's supposed to be here you know you know the homeless issue why the fuck can't they just get their own houses you know what I can't wait to do is to be like as rich and famous as Jeffree Star is why? so I can smoke weed on camera without caring about being demonetized <laughs> we used to call this Clifford the big red dog when I was a kid because my mother had a great imagination so many fucking people here and I hated them it's just like can you just like get the fuck out of my way you know what I mean like go somewhere else in the world like go to the midwest or whatever you know that place is like empty I guess you know no one lives there fucking desolate why are you filming me right now I hate this grass it's not wet enough fucking space needle it's not like not gold anymore like it used to be fucking styrofoam all over like the trash here oh my god it's disgusting like just throw it away no oh, it's it's too hot right now i'm getting kind of too hot so i might just take off my jacket <laughs> so 
yourself. Space Needle, right? Look up. Cool. Great. You want to know a really random, kind of gross fun fact that I don't get, but I've seen at least 10 rats around here. And I must say, Dumb. <laughs> like that. Exactly like that. <laughs> and like I must say, you know what's really stupid about the Seattle Center is that there's like a million rats everywhere. And like I find it really hilarious that, you know, they keep complaining about their rat problem, but they do nothing about it. So bitch, why are you complaining? I am so tired of being on camera. This bitch behind the camera keeps telling me what to do and I'm like, I don't know what to do. <sighs> you know what's really stupid is that there's like all this art in Seattle. Like there, oh, like that, like you see that, like all the time here. And I'm just like, why? Yes. And then there's the chicken exhibit, which everybody loves so much. And I don't understand why, because mostly it's glass. Like who cares about glass? It's fucking glass. Like, Are you kidding? I mean, honestly, I don't get it. Like all these like fucking basic bitches will like go in there, take Instagram pictures and be like, oh my God, I went to the Chili Hooli exhibit. Can you believe it? Oh my God. It's fucking glass. It's colored. It smells like garbage right now. Ooh, mm, I'm like actually gonna puke. You know what I hate more than anything? Is that it's March, right? Nice, right? There's no fucking leaves on the tree, so it still looks like it's fucking winter here. You know the trees? You know, I can't believe they don't have leaves on them. Like, how sad is that? I mean, don't you feel bad for them? You know? Don't you pity those poor trees? They have no clothes on. Like, how sad is that? I think we need to start a support group for trees without leaves. I think we need to start it immediately. We should call it Dreams for Trees. I really think we need to do. I think we need to start raising the money. The seagulls. Because they don't have enough homes. They need homes. And so we gotta raise that money. Sign a petition. They're starving these birds. Like, are you kidding me? Trees finally have houses. Hello, oh, Mr. Tree, are you home? That's what all the homeless people say here. Fucking crows. I don't know who Clay is, but Clay lives here. Oh my god, can you I just can't. If you liked this video, please be sure to like and subscribe and share this video with your friends. I'll see you guys next week. Okay, thanks. Bye.